Hey there folks, Rinio T here and welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV Endwalker. In the last part we did Pandemonium. And time to continue to Taru's Grand Endeavor, Soaring Prophets. Am I on... No, I'm not on auto. But the Pandemonium. Or I don't need auto. Why, hello there! Your arrival could not have been more timely. Mr. Sataru has but le just left instructions for another batch of deliveries. No, I don't want that. No! No! Thank you. Get the wrong keys. She sends your regards, of course. Today she is an idol shower for business with Rowena's House of Splendors, and tomorrow we'll no doubt find her in some other far flung corner of the realm. You mustn't be out on Arya. This time, our samples are destined for two organizations in Corthus, an arrangement made possible by none other than Master Sicard. He contacted his dear friend, Lord Amanda Lane de Fortan, who was kind enough to spread word of the boutique to his own contracts across Ishgard. It hardly took any time for the first letter of interest to reach us, and once these samples have been delivered, the interest will be peaked to a passion. Or so I've been assured, Lord the Mandalayan has insisted he will take care of all the particulars and bid me convey with enthusiasm he looks forward to accompanying you on deliveries. Now then, regarding that secret mission of ours... So I think my neighbor is drilling again and I highly apologize for the background noise, but there is nothing I can do about it. to sapphires at night. It will make a beautiful necklace once restored a keepsake of not only Mistress Sitara's mother, but that of her many friends and allies from across the realm. I'm confident someone of your experience has a most discerning eye for mementos. Bring back anything you think will make a worthy addition. And with that, I leave these samples in your capable hands and eagerly await your safe return. Alright, off to Ishgard. We are going up there apparently, and there's that stupid air again. Yay! I don't know why it's been picking up a bit more lately. It's weird. Um, let's go Ethernet and or Ethernet. This will go there to Crozier. And up we go. I know this spot very well. I've spent many an hour in that area. Back in the Heaven's Ward days. I was an Idleshire person, I was an Ishgard person. Idleshire is cool and all, I did spend some time there, but Ishgard was where it was at. Are ya, old girl? It's good to see a rosy glow in your cheeks, considering that dreadful business with the imminent destruction of mankind, the end of the times, and whatnot. Yes, indeed. Who better to distribute exquisite arms and accoutrements than a bona fide hero such as yourself? Well, I have two parties with simply a ravenous interest in your products, dear lady. The first of whom so happens to be rather exquisite herself, oh, my dearest Lady Laniate. Laniate. Be so good as to precede me to the Rose House. I shall be along promptly, of course, just as soon as I'm quiffed and powdered. something about you can take the boy out of Ishgar, but you can't take the Ishgar out of the boy, but we're it! But we're in Ishgar, so I mean... Alright. 
over to the Rose House over in Sea of Clouds. Wow, words, difficult. I can do them, I promise. Maybe. I cannot hit my mouth though. Oh my gosh. I've spent many time here doing hunts. I have never finished this map? Oh my god, I never finished this map, y'all. Maybe I should, uh, should do that sometime. sometime. Well met, Arya. It is good to see you hail and whole. Thank you for personally making the trip. I know your obligations are many. <sighs> Truth be told, your arrival could scarce have been better timing. While our erstwhile troubled relations with the Vanu Vanu improve by the day, we have been forced to reconsider our current munitions due to recent incidents of... I've come, my darling Blossom. Behold, the man that lay in the executioner had to smite your foes with a ruthless ardor. Mm. It was about time to take a drink, apparently. I almost wanted to spit it out. Well, I drink a rather smashing silhouette, do I not? Why, the car could not find a better man to give these samples to. Surely such splendid armor could be put to better use than fashion. Lord Madeline, could I not prevail upon you your better senses to really push that gear to those who might appreciate its practicality? Far be it from me to deny any request of yours, Lady Laniette. Only I must confess, I have rather exaggerated to Carter generosity in the matter of gifting these. Ah, he means that you borrowed them. No doubt without his knowledge or consent. And why should I expect it otherwise? Friends may forgive, but the bears repeat that your clients deserve to at least a modicum of rationalism. You do have other clients, don't you? Uh, uh, of course I have. I have no little celebrity of that. You remember the red bills, of course. Sky Pirates. <laughs> oh my gosh, the airs. That an experienced adventurer should know them hardly surprises me, but how does a privileged son of Houseford's haunt come to make their direct acquaintance? It was a happy coincidence of Balaam's circumstance, I assure you. This Arya here can attest an unbiased range of social contacts in the essential arsenal of not just adventurers, but any gentleman of consequence, or the lady of consequence, as it were. Bias is all very well, but Sky Pirates are precisely the problem I was speaking of earlier earlier, Arya before we were interrupted. Re look recently self proclaimed Sky Pirates have been marauding tray vessels with probably audacity. Even the sky Speaking. Even the Sky Steel Manufactory has reported stolen property in the hands of these ruffians. Troubling news indeed, I cannot imagine those as amicable as our red bills can be responsible. Still, if we should hear aught of it, I shall send word directly now then Arya. Off we trot to the famous Parak. I've been told to seek out a certain red standard cold wind. How those quick Oh yes, this quest is payoff for doing the Void Arc Diablo series of 24 man raids. Oh, hey! Free teleport! You love to see it! Also, that's the top I use on my mod on my main, so it's a little weird. 
Well, well, if you ain't the picture of, very picture of health, are ya? Saving the star from complete annihilation didn't tax you over much, then, eh? Honestly, I think I got ideas for my mock of this glamour from her, so I guess I can't say too much. Let me guess, it was not compared to all the bow and- Actually, no, I just, it just happened, but, you know. It was not compared to all the bow and then scrape and it required for the, for the mercantile g until don't tell me this dandy is what wooed you from the life of sweet nothing, so financial comfort. Leofard, my good man, you know as well as I that the only one wooing Arya into anything is yourself. Don't think your interest in our mutual friend here escaped my notice. Your aim all along was less about armaments than it was an audience with Arya, was it not? <laughs> not bad for a dandy. I, I might have had me sight sudden touch and reunion with, between Arya and myself. And that's not to say I won't be needing those samples. See, Abijah, that could right benefit from both your keen sense and those pieces you've brought me. As long as they're half the quality of what Mameline was showing off in those in the alehouses, anyhow. I can count on your participation, yes, you'll be duly compensated, of course. Name your price. of a necklace uh, for Tataru Taru herself, eh? I only prefer something you might make use of. <sighs> Far be it for me to dictate what a woman does with her booty. Or if you that's your recompense, I'll see what I can do. Now that we have you on board, allow me to elaborate. It seems another band of petty thieves has been masquerading as sky pirates and harrying on his traitors as of late. So you've heard of them? I uh, those so-called monstrous cockatoos don't exactly strike fear into the heart of the man, but they're being a right nuisance, and now they've gone and made things personal. You remember the Ramiel, don't you? The captain's old airship? Well, after what happened in Dunscathe, we've been commissioning to find his airship parts from across the realm for, the for the construction of her successor. Oh, to have those cockapur poops pillage the very sky scale manufactory vessel that's carrying our precious cargo! The nervous and people that makes me mouth water. Of course, once the cockatoos realized this property they pilfered, for, they flew into a panic and hold up an idol shower at their stash in the goods somewhere. This is where you and your samples come in. We want you to take Leofard and before you spill the rest of Asia, ha, let's make sure our friend here is still up to oh, for a spot of foul and how about it then? My Mama can tell Gentil is at your service. <laughs> I knew I was worth to call you. Those dowdy ducklings will know what plucked them. Quite so. And with Arya returning the crew complete, victory over these nerd will do well. So most certainly assured. Don't ask me to remember what voice I gave Kaishi, okay? That was actually years ago that I did this. <laughs> by the by, would you have any terrible objections if I informed the Rose Knights of your designs upon those charlatans? That's her affiliate with House A. Lenore, you see, and not so particular interest in recovering the contents of that scar steel vessel. I know my darn- I'm um, the most capable Lady Laniette well, simply will not rest until she has brought the, the, in the scoundrels to justice. Can't say it's in Lance I've ever considered. As so long as I get all the cockatoo I'm due, our knights most thornier are welcome to come to catch and page as they see fit. It's relented, Lady Laniette will be, shall be very glad to hear it. Overjoyed even. Yes, you may simply be uh, unable to continue unfounded delay. I must away! Not waiting, awaiting us not a shot, but danger in such a huge. 
But such is more tempting to our hope than our lovely knots. Uh, let's be off. I'll explain the rest of our game, but once we get there. Free warp? You venture to the sanctuary? Free warp! You still love to see it. Who's in dandy now, you ask? <laughs> I reckon my reputation precedes me in these parts when the legendary red belly Leofard ain't known for togs like these. Though I could get used to this. Comfortable, practical enough with a sense of style to boot. Wait. That's... Level 90 Machinist equipment! Yes, I'm not supposed to be machinist, but it's Machinist, okay. And often you find that holy triad of battle in Galakir. Quite a lie in your town. Which brings us to your role in my master plan. Will they be easy laying low in a motley place like I Are these cockahoo cowards and manage it well enough? To lure them out, we're gonna spread the savory rumors of a black market merchant. Look in defense, find contraband for even finer coin. That's you. And that is the Machina's level 90 equipment. How do I know? Hmm. Try to chat with any adventures of others that seem like to share hearsay. I'll be playing your hands and bodyguards, so rest assured I've got your back, mistress. I'm taking the liberty of preparing your guys. It ain't as flattering as the Ophars, but you should fit them apart nicely in this. The Ophar is now accompanying you! Blah 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 blah. We can station to restore or prolong the garment change. I think I should be fine. Yeah. Sorry, I just like cut off doing stuff where you couldn't use the mount to do all this nonsense. So uh, virtual adventure. Contrabandus. Well, I do know of some sky pirates near the town. And just the other day, I overheard them discussing their latest windfall. Ah, uh, yes, just the sort of enterprise and folk we're looking for. You think you can help us pin them down? I'll do what I can. No stranger to sky pirates, so I'll ask around. Cool. Let's go. I guess we'll just go this way around. What's this at? Oh, it's that one. Should I unlock that one here? Maybe. I'm gonna leave. Oh, yeah, you are here. Are you outside? No. Shh. Oh. Yes, yes, Gabby. I catch a such sky stealers. Sky stealers come to claim busy deal the craft force. We bring no trade goods for jingly shine. Gate, laugh, joke for coffee merchants. Sky ste stealers leave with grump face. Gobby doesn't understand why uplanders wish to trade tongue flops with grump face sky stealers. Happy to handle for more laugh jokes. Much obliged. If all goes to plan, you'll have you laugh joking over their sorry hides for summers to come. Okay. He just like, yep. I, I gave you my information. They're like, yep, I found them very funny. I'm leaving now. I'm leaving now. Just go up this way. Yourself, are you? Perhaps I'm overstepping, but consider this friendly advice. Seeking out sky pirates dressed in such a stereotypical garb is akin to dangling a sign from neck reading, Purge my purse! Oh, the righteous red bills may pity you, dear lady, but few else. Righteous. A righteous ain't even be, ne ain't never been to me like me. I just can't abide them rep reprobates of what don't honor the creed of sky pirate. Then. So you can imagine red bill. Leovard might say it. Not that it's any matter of ours. Anyhow, should you find someone looking to offload her too easily out of the tape, the merchandise to send them our way, will you? If you insist, but don't say I didn't warn you. Especially when you come face to face with whatever brute they've hired to browbeat for them. Oh, yes, I heard that Sky Pirate lot crowing all about it. Now they have unparalleled strength if they are to be believed. 
okay. I guess we're taking the Fenrir. Getting that movement speed. And going back down this way. Because we can. Um be right for Up here. Up here. Okay. So, are we the talk of the town yet? As far as I can tell, you're strong contenders, but perhaps second only to rumors about a mysterious intimidator who's cast our lot in with the cockatoos. They natural with those sniveling waltz hired a brow beater. What thick head it willingly courts the round car of Redville Leofard. Well, I suppose a few names come to mind, but no matter, our plan proceeds as discussed. Let's take the streets and wait for our clients to come crawling in. Well there, are you the trailer looking sh Schaefer with the monstrous cockatoos? Schaefer, with Scrags like you, Furry and me, I don't know whether to laugh or cry. That voice, Red the Leopard. As you live and breathe, not for long though, if you don't hand over what you and your dicky birds stole. Wow, they actually went there in the game. They, 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 they made that joke. It did it. <laughs> Bluster all you like, Red Bill, but you ain't getting the better of us this time. We're, we've treated with a sky power that will crush you to Palmas. And there you were thinking this would ever be here. For so simple, were you not, my dear Leofard? Because who else would it be, right? Not in the slightest. I was thinking surely Radlia and her talons would never sing so those from lackeys to a lackey. There you are. I might even start to pity you. And that is where you underestimate me, Redville. I would stop at nothing to realize my desires. Or the sweet memories we made together and don't skate. Not enough to convince you of that. I suppose I might be willing to overlook your stubborn indifference and return those stolen airship parts you so desperately seek if you would but call me your captain. Complete another airship means more than me than you'll ever understand. I ain't leaving here without me stolen goods. If they're worth recovering, that is, you're the Cockalorum. You didn't leave that flounder in one aspect of territory, did you? Of course you did. I hear it's as empty as a toss pot's tanker. Those airship parts were embedded with highly calibrated corrupted crystals. Put them in con any contact with wood spreads, and they're no better than glorified scrap. Wait a moment, he's in contact, did he? How many ways by co contact in the, the rock formations of Providence? Eh, it'll be fine. <laughs> but how that you've got hands on an airship, you have to take her to Providence and go pick up our stolen goods. Some genius hid them under a rock. You are bluffing. Uh, obviously. Uh, don't make me doubt your intelligence, Radia. What airship person? 
What airship needs parts that can't handle a little wind? Doubt what you'd like, Leofard. Hardly need bloody airship bits to beat you with the submission. Let me slip into something more comfortable. Haria! It was the glasses, it's always the glasses. You can't recognize people if they have glasses on. <laughs> you say Arya isn't the Arya, Arya, since when was she uh, a friend of the Red Bills? Seems I'm not the only one whose name is worth something in these parts. I'm still prettier, though. Excuse you! Well then, sweet cockatoos, let's get about cutting you up into cockat threes and fours, shall we? Her bill by himself is one thing, but Arya is something else. Ain't nothing for it, lads. Play for your lives! So much for monstrous. Let's leave them to the garrison. They ain't enough me on the shivering bones to warrant the chase. Radley, uh, Radley, uh, I expect this. I reckon this was a little more than diversion to you, but surely you didn't think I'd fooled with such a weak hand. Oh, the more pity that you just you assume those airship parts were the only pieces of value taken from me and mine. But no matter, it's time to make your allegiance it's clear. If you and your talons intend to continue this far, then we'll have it out here and now. Well, it seems I misjudged my prospects. I had thought these those simpletons might amount to more than sniveling turntails, but had neither loyalty nor affection for a useless cockatoo. I suppose I shall have to content myself with this reunion itself, but you will need more than clever bluffs to evade me next time, or that you might of that you might be maybe certain. Can I talk to you? Okay, thank you. Those are fun samples without question. Nothing beats where I'm the old Rex again. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm not a fan of level 90 mock in this look. Oh, I do. no, yeah, I don't blame you. Go ahead to the parak and wait for us in my chambers. We'll be along with spoken with our night knight's most thorny. This time I don't get the free teleport. Jerks. Shaking fist. Is there something? Oh, yeah. Oh, well. I'll do it another time. Um, this way. Wait. Is he here? He is not here. That's an alpha spawn point, by the way. I was hoping! We would get the alpha freak out again, but no, we don't. I'm slowly learning the alpha spots. Slowly. I do only know the one, and Walker one though. I would feel the second one. I'm pre. I'm guessing the second one's with the watcher. I'm guessing. Certain. I only know that one in Labyrinthos for sure. But maybe by the in Garlemald, by the like in the spots we actually went to. I don't know. I'll have to find them all sometime. Do a video, an alpha special or something.
Well, the Tyler says all the stolen properties account for, and eventually touches on our airship for see the piss. According to the Rose Knights, the cockatoos will be shipped off to the Diodem where they can enjoy volunteering their services for the betterment of mankind. Speaking of which, Captain, what has become of the miscellanea recovered from the cockatoo's hoard? I'm sure House Hand and Art will lay claim to the possessions, but as for the appurtenances of the origins, unknown. Were I not post, I won't unpock any jingam jingam bob I find, unlike like some petty foister. Attack down the rightful places soon enough if my prediction holds. Arya, is that you? It is! You look quite as surprised as I feel to think of me here among the clouds and sky parrots. I was just finishing up my affairs in Idleshire, then who should come asking for me but Redfield Leopard? I have quite the thrilling twist of my day, I'll have you know. How did the man only put it? She's got fingers and more pies than the street beggar. When I got when she was in Idleshire, it felt like snubbing fate not to enlist her expertise. Well, I'm exceedingly glad you did, for I have returned the triumphant. Allow me to present the most the famous traveling portraitist, portraitist, Dermot. Yeah, I have really forgotten how to speak. Portraitist, but of course, when I recovered items were a number of singularly beautiful paintings. Oh, I'm relieved to hear it. When I learned which vessel had fallen prey to sky pirates, I thought those pieces would be lost forever. So you are yet another victim of the monstrous cockatoo. Still a personal summons to the Parax seems like this. So this is social nicety to which the captain is normally intolerant. I believe my presence here may have another purpose entirely. You see, Leofort and I are old acquaintances. He commissioned me to paint that portrait, in fact. My beautiful daughter, Remil. She looks perfectly at home here. Beautiful daughter! Ah, dear Mare is bothered to leave the reveal that the gentlewoman who care for Leofard is a lad. He's abdicated, he abdicated all family affairs to his son when he became a practicing artist, but he's still a lord in lineage. You mean to say that the renowned portraitist dear Mare is not only your grandfather, but the former lord as well? I must forgive my blithe introduction from earlier! Not to forget, Mistress Ataru. On the contrary, I'm so glad to you for talking him down so quickly. Thanks to you, this can happen just as I hoped it might. Construction's about finished on a new airship. I don't want you here when I christened her. Through a meal. Fly again. My dearest boy, I celebrate your mother's life with you continues to be my great honor. When you hung your portrait here, when you named your first airship, I could see the vestiges of her love shining in your countenance then, just as it is now. I only hope you continue to realize her greatest wish for you, to live as free and unfeathered as the sky itself, and that she'll be very proud. A bit like hurting corals, ain't it? In this adventure, it's taps all in one room, but well worth the effort, I'd say. Almost like these are meant to be shared. Right, I believe we've got a new airship to fly, and the open sky awaits. Now this airship is actually handled with the high edge of existence in back, but also much pick up. Which I hear on good authority, whatever authority Manali is when he's in his cups, you have literally done. I reckon I've never been such equal parts odd and envious, though I'll seal the invitation since the lost by a post. 
Nay, nay, in all candor. Certain there are some skies only meant for your eyes. Escapades it's surpassing even my wild imaginings. So, sure, the ends of eternity and horizons filled with peril. Just don't think you've seen the last of what wonders these heavens hold. I'll come find you again before long, Arya, and I'll bring everything I promise. That thrill and headlong, heady rush of high adventure. Sorrowed, no, that his father of her union's most gay. No need for the mockish for a ball, the as of Arya's dropping off the face of the star. Not permanently, anyhow. We'll meet again soon enough, although, Kai, she is liable to mope like a damp kitten till we do. I expect these parts will be free of half-baked brigands for a time yet, but should you ever find yourself in need of a red bill, don't hesitate to call. Thank you! It's no small comfort knowing our ships may distribute their wares in safety. As for you, Arya, we'll be in touch. Well, that was invigorating. Well, I'd love nothing more than catch our collective breath over a cup of tea. Business calls me to Ishgard. No rest for the enterprising and talented, as we say. Shall we do our mayor? May I have to persuade you to accompany us? I should very much like to hear of your adventures. Painting subjects I find personally inspiring is a particular credo of mine, and I dare say you have brushed shoulders with more than a few individuals of note. Nah. I've done nothing noteworthy. At all. Thank you for indulging in the old man's eccentricities. Now then, perhaps you could begin with the adventures you share with Leofard and his crewmates? Actually, we all flew this in our direction, yes? Whatever could it be? Whatever it is, Leopard's a man of his word. How mysterious. But now that I think of it, Leopard did mention sending something along when he asked me to track down to a mare. Also warm. So. Well, I would make quite the sight lugging this around to all my meetings. So my, I, uh, well, I would make quite the sight lugging this around to all my meetings. So I ask you to hold on to it for the time being. I trust you not to run off with my share of the reward. A gift from notorious Red Bills. You know, they're rather a nice sort of sky pirate, don't you think? Sanctuary. Oh. Well, that was a teleport, I guess. How bright and the energetic young lady is your employer, Arya. I hope shepherding me back to Ishgard did not delay her business over long. Tales you shared on the journey here were beyond anything I anticipated. Never have I heard such inspiring episodes of Daring Do. 
Well, I may not know them personally if I'm myself fascinated by the individuals you described, the comrades and acquaintances of your journeys. Yes, I believe I shall remain in the capital of hate for a time. She desired a portrait and happily part with it for the cost of its supplies. I'm here, we can make the arrangements. Once you fulfill your current obligations, where we were. Oh, back at the jewel crozier. Okay. Oh, Charlian. Go back here. Turn this one in. Welcome back! I just received word from Mistress Ataru. Was this about portraits and sky parrots? For I believe Leofar gave you this for the necklace? Seems to be a leather strap of sorts, and an antiquated one at that. In a moment. I recognize this design from my studies. This is a relic from of the ancient city of Mok. It said that Maki sorcerers would le weave these cords with magic to make them unbreakable. It'd be hard for us to find better material for a necklace. Oh, Mr. Sitara would be so delighted. She tried the endlessly about how pleased she was to know the Red Bills and sorts of products might prove useful to our daring new friends. And the Rose Knights have already placed an order for the garrison, so all in all, I believe our latest endeavor was a brilliant success. As always, we shall be on the lookout for new areas of opportunity, so I hope we can call on you to serve as our charming emissary again. In fact, I believe Mr. Tara will insist upon it. Until next time! We now purchase portraits from Duramir by speaking to him in Ishgard. Yeah. So there's two more quests to do. That's going to be 6.3 and 6.4. But let's make a quick trip to Ishgard real quick. Go back to Duran there. Let's see what it is. Let's see Jewel Crozier. Say Jewel Has changed now. It's a Taru! So, yep, there are now a bunch of different um, housing items we can get for our yeah, Ishtola, Thancred, Yurian J, the Taru, Alpha No, Alize, Kryle, and Graha Tia. Where's the Simeon? Estinian has been left out. Poor Estinian. There's the Tataria one. Anyways, that quest took about 20 minutes longer than I thought it was going to. So, we're gonna call it good there. And, yeah, we'll continue on the 6.2 post game next time. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, consider liking, commenting, and or subscribing. If you really enjoyed it, consider supporting the channel. All support really helps to keep being content like this and more. Find links for that in the description below, along with links to me on social media. Thank you again for watching. And until next time, this is Renee MT signing out. Bye!